military gun. And then, Bill Nasser, give us a, a final thought here. Do you, do you believe that Iraq is destined to fragment along religious and ethnic lines? Uh, to some extent, yes. First of all, I do not believe in an authoritarian <laughs> war. What worked under Saddam would not work now. The Shiites are not going to accept the Sunni dictatorship. The Sunnis are not going to accept the Shia dictatorship. And we cannot address the problem of militias in Iraq, in, in Baghdad, unless we, add, uh, uh, we answer the problem, uh, address the problem of the insurgency in Western Iraq. Because the insurgency in the eyes of the Shias is the Sunni uh, uh, militia. And if we cannot have a situation where the insurgency <laughs> is getting stronger and the U.S. is bearing down on the Shia militia, and as a result, uh, I'm not hopeful that we can have an easy solution to this. And in some ways, I think the decision by all sides has been made that the reconciliation is not really possible within this current kind of environment. Well, that's nothing positive to leave us on. Bella Nasser in San Diego, thanks very much as well. Major General Don Shepard and Arwa Dima, my colleague here in Baghdad. From Iraq to just next door in Iran and how North Korea has taken world attention away from what Iran is planning with its nuclear program ahead on this week of war.